Welcome to Project Accounting. So for our first video, we will introduce you to the world of accounting. So for this episode, you will be able to understand the definition of accounting, explain the phases of accounting, describe the nature of accounting, and narrate the history of accounting. So when you heard about accounting, what comes to your mind? So according to the Accounting Standards Council, accounting is a service activity. Its function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions, in making reasoned choices among alternative courses of action. So, para mas maintindihan natin ang maiging accounting, himay-himay natin yung definition nito. So, accounting is a service activity. Ano ba yung service? Service is an action of helping or doing work for someone. Accounting provides assistance to decision makers by providing them financial reports that will guide them in coming up with sound decisions. Next one is yung function ng accounting. Its function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature. So in accounting, we usually deals with numbers kasi nga quantitative information. Pero di lang basta numbers, but primarily financial in nature. We usually ask in accounting the question how much. Next naman, accounting is about economic entities. Businesses are organizations in which basic resources are assembled and processed to provide goods or services to customers or clients. Pero take note, accounting is not only limited to businesses. We also deal with non-profit organizations such as churches and schools since kailangan din naman ng mga organization na yon how to keep their records of their transactions. Why is accounting important? Because it is intended to be useful in making economic decisions. So for businesses, ano ba ang important para sa kanila? Of course, to earn money on their businesses. Every company may earn a profit or incur a loss depending on economic decisions made by the owners. Ika nga, accounting is considered as the language of business. Accounting is the means by which business information is communicated to business owners and stakeholders. The role of accounting in business is to provide information for managers and owners to use in operating the business. In addition, accounting information allows business owners to assess the efficiency and effectiveness of their business operations. In connection with that, nung dahil sa accounting, Ang mga owners na gumagawa ng economic decision can make a reasoned choices among alternative courses of action. Hindi lang limited sa isang choice ang pwedeng gawin ni owner sa kanyang business. Kaya sa accounting, maja-justify kung ano ang pinaka-reasonable na pwede niyang piliin in order to succeed in their business. So again, accounting is a service activity. Its function is to provide quantitative information primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions, in making recent choices among alternative courses of action. Accounting can also be defined as an art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in significant manner, and in terms of money, transactions, and events, which are in part at least a financial character, and interpreting the results thereof. So based on this definition, we can derive the phases in accounting. So first phase is the recording part. Recording is the process of systematically maintaining record of all business transactions. So usually, it is done in chronological order or according to the date of occurrence. Tito, Inire-record na natin yung journal entries after we have analyzed na yung mga transactions sa general journal. Next one is classifying. Classifying is the grouping 
of similar and interrelated transactions in the respective class by posting to the ledger. For example, all transactions involving cash are grouped in a single cash account. This is usually accomplished by posting the journal entries to the general ledger. Next one is summarizing. Summarizing is the preparation of the financial statements. This includes statement of financial position, statement of comprehensive income, statement of cash flows, statement of changes in owner's equity, and notes to financial statement. So after nating malaman kung ano ang definition and phases of accounting, let's now go to the nature of accounting. So as mentioned earlier, accounting is a service activity. Accounting provides assistance to decision makers by providing them financial reports that will guide them in coming up with sound decisions. Accounting is also a process. Accounting is identified as a process as it performs the specific task of collecting, processing, and communicating financial information. Also, accounting is both an art and a discipline. Accounting is a systematic method consisting of definite techniques and its proper application requires skills and expertise. So by nature, accounting is an art. And because it follows certain standards and professional ethics, it is also a discipline. Accounting deals with financial information and transactions. As mentioned earlier, accounting's function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature. Accounting records, financial transactions, and data classifies these and finalizes their results given for a specified period of time as needed by their users. Lastly, accounting is an information system. Accounting is recognized and characterized as a storehouse of information. As a service function, it collects, processes, and communicates financial information of any entity. This discipline of knowledge has evolved to meet the need for financial information as required by various interested groups. So now, let's go to the history of accounting. Accounting is as old as civilization itself. It has evolved in response to various social and economic needs of men. Accounting started as a simple recording of repetitive exchanges or yung tinatawag na barter. So the following is the evolution of accounting. First is the cradle of civilization. Around 3600 BC, record keeping was already common from Mesopotamia, China, and India to Central and South America. The oldest evidence of this practice was the clay tablet of Mesopotamia, which dealt with commercial transactions at that time. Next one is in 14th century. The most important event in accounting history is generally considered to be the dissemination of double entry bookkeeping by Luca Pacioli, which is considered as the father of accounting. Luca Pacioli wrote Su Summa de Arithmetica Geometria Proportioni et Proportionalita or everything about arithmetic, geometry, proportions, and proportionality, which is the first book published that contained a detailed chapter on double entry bookkeeping. So next one is in French Revolution in 1700s. This is where there is a thorough study of accounting and development of accounting theory during this period. Next one is the Industrial Revolution between 1760 to 1830, wherein mass production and the great importance of fixed assets were given attention during this period. Next one is in 19th century. The modern formal accounting profession emerged in Scotland in 1854 when Queen Victoria granted a royal charter to the Institute of Accountants in Glasgow, creating the profession of the chartered accountant. 
In the late 1800s, chartered accountants from Scotland and Britain came to the U.S. to audit British investments. Some of these accountants stayed in the U.S. setting up accounting practices and becoming the origins of several U.S. accounting firms. The first National U.S. Accounting Society was set up in 1887. The American Association of Public Accountants was the forerunner to the current American Institute of Certified Public Accountants or AICPA. The evolution of multinational companies led to the conduct of international business operations across national borders. Yung mga transactions mas nagiging complicated na habang yung mga goods and services are being transferred worldwide. Hence, there was a need to bring a common basis of system of measurement and communication of economic activities. This need was recognized and acted upon by accounting profession through the creation of the International Accounting Standards Committee or the IASC in 1973 who developed a set of uniform global accounting standards called the International Accounting Standards or IAS. IASC was reconstituted in 2001 as International Accounting Standards Board or IASB. Before 1981, Philippines do not have formal process for development of accounting practice. Dati, based lang sa US yung mga standard na ginagamit natin. It was only in late 1981 when PICPA or the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants organized Accounting Standards Council, or the ASC, which formalized the standard-setting process in the Philippines. It was only in 1997 that ASC made a decision to move fully to IAS. Then, ASC was succeeded by FRSC, or the Financial Reporting Standards Council, in 2006, which was established by the Board of Accountancy. At present, the accounting profession in the 20th century developed around state requirements for financial statement audits. Beyond the industry's self-regulation, the government also sets accounting standards through laws and agencies such as Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC. As economies worldwide continued to globalize, accounting regulatory bodies required accounting practitioners to observe international accounting standards. This is to assure transparency and reliability and to obtain greater confidence on accounting information used by global investors. Nowadays, investors seek investment opportunities all over the world. To remain competitive, businesses everywhere feel the need to operate globally. The trend now for accounting professionals is to observe one single set of global accounting standards in order to have greater transparency and comparability of financial data across borders. So to summarize what we have learned today, accounting is a service activity. Its function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions and making recent choices among alternative courses of action. Accounting also has different phases, recording or bookkeeping, classifying, and also summarizing. Accounting is a service activity, a process, an art and discipline. It deals with financial information and transactions, and also an information system. Lastly, accounting is as old as the civilization itself, and the current trend now is to observe one single set of global accounting standards in order to have greater transparency and comparability of financial data across borders. And that's all. Thank you.